See, Billy? I told you that playing marbles wasn't so hard. Yeah, but can't we just read porno magazines like normal eight-year-olds? You're just scared that you don't know how to play the game. <laughs> Fine. Oop, looks like my marble's going over to that strange-looking man. Hey, uh, what you doing there, mister? Hello there, children. What you doing there, playing marbles? Yeah, that seems fun, but I have more ideas on how to have fun. I think I know where this is going, and I don't like it. Look at this. An ancient prism that's made with 10,000 new curses, the likes of which the world has never seen. My mom says I'm not allowed to curse. Oh, okay then. Well, how's about this? The mystic skull of Naruthar. All you need to do is put it in the house of someone you hate, and then kaboom! It gets lit on fire. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good, mister. How much? It's all yours. Have fun. Not so fast, you nasty demon guy. Uh, yeah, we'll work on that later, Hanley. So, Mr. Demon, uh, I know what you're doing here. You want to give these kids all these crazy weapons and artifacts and have them go kill people. Well, I'm going to put a stop to it. Come on now. Certainly I, a demon smuggler, could give you a little something to entertain you, and something that could also make you turn a blind eye, and that could or could not be a double entendre, depending on how nice you are to me. Hmm, let's see, uh, thinking if I'm interested, thinking if I'm interested, uh, oh wait, no. Now let's get this over with. I was supposed to be off the clock an hour ago, but you're keeping me late. So be it then. Let's do this the fun way. If we must, sword make me better! Hey, you kids are playing marbles? <laughs> I used to love playing marbles when I was your age. Take that! And that! Ha! Ha! Well, I don't really know your age, but I'm gonna assume you're like, what, 10? 11? Can't be older than 12. And we help, he's got my leg! Anyways, I remember this one time, huh? <laughs> Mr. Smuggler, that is not a toy! Oh, you should have been there, except you probably weren't alive back then, so what am I saying? I'm just making you feel bad because you weren't in this great, amazing story of mine. I'm sorry, kids. I didn't mean to do that. There. I killed him and severed his head. No thanks to you. Happy to help, Gare. That's not what I said. That's like the opposite of what I said. Were you even listening to me? Wait, Gare. Don't you want to loot through his stuff? Uh, why would I want to do that? I have a TV dinner that needs to be reheated, eaten, and then cried into while I think about my worthless life. I don't know. Leslie said to report anything suspicious, and this guy seems pretty suspicious. Lots of people are suspicious, Hanley. You know, some people would think you're suspicious. They would? You smile a lot. It's not normal. Yeah, well, I'm gonna look through anyways. Hmm, let's see, demon possessed crystal, demon possessed candle, demon possessed, demon possessed, demon possessed snow globe. Wow, that's a lot of demon possession layers there. That's like, what, three, four? I lost track. Hey, what's this thing? It's like a wooden monkey. You know, maybe it's a wooden ape. I didn't ask you, Hanley. Hmm, there's a tag. To Agramon, my best client. <laughs> Not anymore, he isn't, cause, cause you know, cause you know, he, he's dead. Uh, why am I explaining this? Oh wait, there's a note. It says, whatever you do, don't look into the monkey's eyes. Wow, check out its crazy eyes. They're so entrancing and intoxicating. It's like I'm staring at a pair of boobs. I think we've seen enough here. Why don't you put the monkey or ape back into the bag and... No, he's my buddy. He's mine. You know, I thought it was a little kitschy and a little lame at first, but now I kind of like it. He's my buddy, I'm gonna name him Chester, and I'm keeping him. He's mine! I don't know if Leslie would like that. Screw Leslie! I'm happy with Chester! Uh, Gar- I like Chester! Okay, okay, jeez. Okay, well, uh, see you tomorrow then, Gar. Don't listen to him, buddy. He's a little weird, but don't worry. I'm gonna take good care of you. Oh, Gary's gonna be your best friend. Good morning, Gary. Uh, good morning, Leslie. 
Hey, look at this brand new coffee mug I got. It looks like a pencil. Now don't worry, there's no graphite in here, only porcelain. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. It really took a load off my mind, Leslie. Now I gotta get going. Hey, Gary, what's with that strange monkey statue you've got there? Huh? Oh, I call him Chester. He's my buddy. Hey, Gar and Chester. Happy to see you here. Uh, Leslie, can I talk to you alone for a minute? Henley, you don't have to do this. Do what? Do this. It's obvious you want to talk to Leslie about Chester. It's not about Chester. Oh, really? Then what is it about? Pineapples, you know, they're very interesting. How they're spiky on top and kind of spiky on the bottom, but not as spiky. You know, I gotta go write an email. You come up with a better lie in the meantime, okay? Yeah, I'll try. Let's discuss this in my office, Hanley. Oh, and I can show you my mug collection. I got one the other day that looks like the Empire State Building. Wow, color me there. Hmm, let's see. Dear El Superbisto, I will appear in the book signing with you. As long as you wear clothes this time, I'm still recovering from last time when you wore your... <sighs> Plastic wrap tuxedo. I don't know, should I send this to him? Is this being a little too choosing beggary? Gary. Gary. What? Who's there? Hanley? Leslie? Have you guys been inhaling helium, but like reverse helium that makes your voices deeper? Gary. It is I. Chester? That's not my real name, but I suppose you can refer to me as such. Well, what is your real name? My real name is so horrifying, so unspeakable that those who hear it tend to die from blood loss. Out the ears! Alright, Chester's fine then. I didn't know you could talk. I can do many things, Gary. I am Chester, after all. You know, being Chester doesn't really make you qualified to do a lot of things. I'm just saying, you know, throwing that out there, you can't really put... My name is Chester on a resume and expect to be Secretary of State. You know, like, that. that's not how it works. Listen to me, Gary. Listening? Send the email. Sending the email. The email has been sent. Doesn't that make you feel better? Yes. Yes, it does. It makes me feel so much better. See? I can do many wonderful things for you, Gary, so long as you make me your king. Yes, my king. Yes. You shall do whatever I say. Anything you say. Anything I request. Anything you request. Even sexual favors. Don't push your luck. All right, well, I just wanted to check and see. Hey, Gear. Hey, uh, I see you're having another one of your manic episodes talking to inanimate objects again. I only talk to my stress ball when I'm really tired, Leslie. I, I, you can't keep holding that over my head. Yeah, okay, well, come on into my office. Hanley, what are you doing here? As if I don't already know. Gary, we have a problem about your monkey. And that's not a euphemism, I just want that to be clear. What? Hanley, you snitched on me? Well, of course. I had to. It's for your own safety, Gare. You would do the same for me. No, I wouldn't. Ah, it's like you don't know me at all. Gary, you have to get rid of this. It's a dangerous demon artifact. You have no idea what it's capable of. Yes, I do. I know that Chester, because he has a name, it's Chester. Don't forget it. Chester is capable of wonderful things. He's able to make me feel good and boss me around without making me angry. He's my king. Gary, I think we're gonna have to confiscate your monkey. Again, that's not a euphemism. I'm just trying to look out for you, you know? No one's gonna touch my monkey! <laughs> I'm tempted to make a joke about that. I don't really know if it's an appropriate moment, though. Gary, wait, come back, come back! Do you think I went too far with trying to make a joke? I don't know. I'm sure he'll come around soon, though. Anyways, this mug is shaped like an apple. And look, the handle's like a little worm coming out of the apple and going back into it. Wow, that is so awesome. What's the matter, Gary? Uh, 
Hanley and Leslie, they're saying you're bad for me just because you're a demon artifact and you tell people to do unspeakable things. Uh, you do do that, right? Only when I feel like it. See, like, I don't even really know why I like you, to be honest. It's just, when I look into your eyes, I get all captivated. Now, Gary, do you understand me? Yes, my king. I want you to dispose of the problem. Nothing can come in between me and my servants. I want you to kill Hanley and Leslie. You want- wait, wait. You want me to kill them? Uh, that's not really- I- I don't know about- Gary, you shall do as you are instructed! Yes, my king. I shall kill Hanley and Leslie. Henley, Leslie, I've got a surprise for you. Is it that you finally put that nasty old monkey away? Uh, no, and please don't ever say that to me in any context ever again. But I got us a reservation at 6 o'clock at a special restaurant. And I think you'll find the food is to die for. Is that like a double entendre of some kind? No, it's not. Okay, just checking. Wow, you were right, Gare. This nondescript, non-variety, non-denominational restaurant is the best. I mean, I didn't call it the best, but, you know, I guess I got good taste. Yeah, and thanks for ordering that wine for the table. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Cyanide capsules. Hey, uh, uh look over there, uh, distraction. What? Where? <laughs> Uh, looks like the distraction's gone, but before we drink, I'd like to make a toast to death. You know, some people say it's overrated, some people say it's underrated, and some people say you can't really tell because once you die, you can't really have an opinion, uh, that kind of stuff. And you know, personally, I don't think dying would be that bad, you know, like hypothetically, if you were to die tonight by drinking some wine given to you by someone you think is a friend, and you go to heaven, well, at least you're in heaven, right? But, like, if you went to hell, then you'd get all this torture and the weeping and gnashing of teeth and stuff. But, you know, like, I, I know you guys. There's, like, a 70-75% chance you won't go to hell, so I just want to clear that up, you know. Anyways, to death! Yes, yes, they're gonna drink it. Now there's no way that this can be ruined. Unless there's, like, some kind of naked Cossack dancer running around knocking over tables and spilling people's wine. Hiya, 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 hiya! Ah, oh, come on! I never, ever predict these Cossack Dancer routines! Well, that was sure strange. Aw, oh, man, he spilled our wine. Now we can't drink any. King Chester's gonna be so mad at me. What do you mean you failed to kill them? Well, you know, I, I failed to kill them. It's a simple sentence. I, I don't really know what part you get confused by. Is it the didn't or kill or, or maybe that? I mean, maybe you don't know who I'm talking about. There's no more time for subtleties, Gary. These two are trying to split us apart. I want you to continue to serve me forever, but I am helpless to defend myself. When you arrive at the Demon Ministry tomorrow, kill them. Does not matter who sees or who objects. They must die. Yes. My king, yes. Hey, Leslie. Good morning. Good morning to you too, Hanley. Have you seen Gary? Not since last night. After dinner, he kind of skulked off and muttered to himself. It was a little concerning. Then again, he does this all the time, but the air around it felt wrong. Well, maybe we can ask him about it ourselves. Here he is. Hey, Gar, how are you doing today? Gare? Gary, you who? Uh, you just kind of angrily staring at us. Uh, is there something going on here? Something wrong? Sword make me better! Uh, Gare? Are you, uh, lost by any chance? Because the training room is back there. Garnell, you know, he, he's still on. Uh, whoa! Gary, what are you doing? Hey! Th that could cut me open, you know? That's the idea, Hanley. 
You need to die! I, I haven't been possessed by a demon. I just wanted to let you know that. You know, no confusion. You must die by order of King Chester. You too, Wesley. Uh, we don't have kings here in the demon ministry or in this country. I Wait a minute. Chester, your monkey. Gary, I told you this thing was wrong. The note said, don't look in the eyes. And you know what you did? I looked in the eyes. You eye. looked in the eyes, that's right. But looking in the eyes made me see King Chester has all the answers. He'll guide this world to a new plane of existence. But you are trying to come between us. I am his servant. I am the one who carries out his missions. You cannot deny or defy his rule! Gary, wait! Hey! Hey! That was important paperwork you just sliced through. Bad! Bad Gary! Bad Gary! Ah! Come back here! I'm not finished killing you! Any idea where we can hide, Hanley? Nope. If I did have any idea, I wouldn't be running around in circles. Let's go hide in my office. The door locks. Phew! Safe at last. You know, I don't think we're safe anymore, because, you know, he burst through the door. I can see that, Hanley. Who's gonna die first? Eeny, meeny, miny, Hanley! Gary, please, you don't want to do this. Yes, I do. That's why I'm about to do it. See how that works? No, you don't want to do it. It's King Chester that's making you do this. Please, Gary, I know you're grumpy and you hate everything, but you really can't be this bad. Yes, I am. Now, time to make the incision! The incision! The in, in, inci incision! Cutting open! Guts everywhere! Uh, can't do it! Gary, do not disappoint me! Slay the enemy! Slay the enemy! I. I. I can't! Well, maybe I can kill Leslie! You know, they drive me nuts sometimes, like really nuts. Sometimes they make me want to pull out whatever little hair I have left, but yeah, they're always there for me, especially when my life sucks, which is basically all the time. So I really can't kill the only friends I've got, the only support I've got. I am your friend. I am your support. I am your master. Gary, fight him. Fight him, Gare! You can do it! I... Eh. Look into my eyes and you shall see your destiny. I... Yeah! What are you doing? Stop stabbing me! This really hurts, you know! Ah! 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 Die, monkey! Die! 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 Ah! No one controls... The chosen one! Except for bureaucracy and red tape! Except for bureaucracy and red tape! Ah! Please, don't do this! I can achieve world power and then give you a slice of that power. It wouldn't be as good as my rest of the pie, so to speak. But you'll have something. You'll have modest wealth and you can rent anything you want. Gary. Don't throw this away! Hmm, thinking if I'm interested, thinking if I'm interested... Uh, no! There, he's dead now. You can tell because he's a pile of wood shavings and sawdust. You really saved us, Gary? And we're your friends? Uh, yeah, but don't read into that, okay? You're mostly just work friends and nothing else. I think this calls for a group hug! You know, I second that. But no, no, let me go. Hey, this is not consensual. Let me go. Ah, you know, I still have my sword. Still have my sword. Hey, uh, no use fighting it, I guess. Hey, you know what I just thought of? This was supposed to be a gift for some guy named Agramon, right? Like, I, I wonder who that is. Oh, well, maybe we'll find out someday soon, Gare. Maybe someday soon. The package has not arrived. Mr. Agraman. Very well then. I suppose we'll have to go out to the human world and retrieve it ourselves. I need this for my new plan. The smugglers have failed me once again. 
But now that matters will be in my own hands, I shall reign triumphant! <laughs>